Sick Mate Season 2. What is going on? We've got a brand new clean background. We've got the haircut. We've got the new intro. It's season two. So today we're going full on new year, new me. And now that it's 2019, I've been thinking about what I've been wearing recently. And fam, it's time for a clothing purge. It's time to deconstruct the wardrobe. It's time to play keep or delete. I'm cleaning out my closet. No Eminem reference. Before we head into it, if you want to keep updated with me and my videos, then please subscribe. And if you want notifications from when I upload, then click the little bell icon as well. Trust me, every little helps. No Tesco's. You may have seen this rail in all of my videos in season one. I say season one, but that was the entirety of 2015 to 2018, so. That's a three year season. But it is season two now. Again, in the background of all of my videos, you would have seen this rail here. This is an empty hangar. But the rest of it, you would have seen in pretty much all of my videos. It doesn't really change that often, but today we are going to change the unchangeable. I'm basically gonna throw out a bunch of stuff, probably put it on a Depop page. So without further ado, let's jump into the clothing purge. I have not come up with a title yet. I suppose we'll start from this side. So the first item that we have is this Machino black t-shirt. I got this from a thrift store ages ago. I got this for a pretty decent price. I think it was under 10 pounds, but I saw this in a charity shop and it was a must cop. It's Machino. It's got like a cool little clean graphic on the front there. It's got like a bit cut out and then stuck on the side there. It's mad. I've worn this a couple of times and put it in the wash, but then the print started to pick off a little bit, which I'm not happy about. So I've got to get it restored and get some paints. Kind of like that Supreme BOGO that Chopsuri restored because I really do like this shirt enough to keep it and it's pretty much the reason why you haven't seen me wear the shirt is simply because then I'd have to wash it then the print will just come off even more so this I'm going to keep for a little while longer I'm going to try and restore it and then you'll see it in my rotation once again so for the next one we have another black t-shirt this one is an anti-heroes skateboard t-shirt I bought this in Supreme like ages ago I used to visit that store quite often and I used to go into the Supreme store like yeah no nah, I'm a true fan I don't have to buy Supreme at the Supreme store I'm into the whole culture I support skateboarding in general without actually being able to do a kickflip oh do you even skate bro confirmed no so this particular t-shirt i quite like because obviously at the time skateboarding was a really big thing that whole look was going in hard for a very long time this one was super clean i needed a black t-shirt this goes well with a lot of stuff but it's just something that i don't really wear anymore so i have to delete it fam next item that we've got is this symbolic raf simmons lookalike knitwear jumper i can't remember where i found this somebody must have wore it on their instagram page and i just followed the rabbit hole down to this brand's page i was gonna wear this for like one pitch and then sell it but then I thought to myself how many other ways can you rock this so I've decided to keep hold of it for a little while longer I quite like it it's got the Raph Simmons cropped fit to it like the I love New York knitwear jumper massively oversized I like the red and black aesthetic to it I think there's a lot you can do with this there we go symbolic in all of its glory next we've got this plain black knitwear long sleeve there's not really much to say about it it's just all black it's got a wide collar I'm probably gonna get rid of this because I bought it with the intention of wearing it but I have never worn it so this one's going away Next, we have this Doom t-shirt. I bought this on Amazon late 2017, I believe. And I just thought it was super cool at the time. It's low key, you've got the classic Doom logo there. And of course, you have to let everyone know that you are a retro gamer. I like the shirt for a number of reasons. I like the whole old school goth aesthetic that it's got to it, but at the same time, it's got like a gamer vibe to it because it's Doom, a game. It was really just another t-shirt to add to the black t-shirt collection. I only ever really wore this a few times. Looking at this actual piece right now, it's sick by itself this is that simple doom logo but i do believe the time has passed for this so it is gonna go in the delete pile next we have this mars attacks t-shirt i have a really big black t-shirt collection this one i found at a charity shop as well it is 1997 movie promo shirt absolutely sick i love the mars attacks logo i love the fact that it says 1997 warner home video uk limited at the front there just to let everyone know it's got like a raised graphic to it which i quite like this one's a size xl but really it's a size large i've worn it a couple of times in fact i bought this at comic con when i was holding that sick hop Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. It is a really cool t-shirt, but I think I'm not really gonna get a lot of use out of it. So of course it has to go in the delete pile. The Gosha Robchinsky shirt. Is it okay to like Gosha again? I feel like the answer is no. But whatever your take on the scandal at the moment, I did use to bust this shirt quite a lot. I have definitely got my use out of it. I just like the simple design at the front there, and I just wanted to own a Gosha piece. This one was sold at Dover Street Market. I remember the last time I wore the shirt was on my Christmas 
Christmas wish list and literally like a couple of days before the video got released Gosha got exposed or whatever you want to call whatever that was and then the comment section were just like oh it was a bad day to wear Gosha but in terms of the actual piece I think I'm gonna get rid of it not for any political reason just because I have rinsed this shirt and it's time for it to go to a new home next item this Star Trek vintage t-shirt that I got from my charity shop as well this one I like for a number of reasons because it's the Star Trek Fact Files t-shirt or like the merchandise for it and call me a fat off nerd but we actually used to collect these Fact Files when they were a thing. I think I'm gonna have to keep hold of this one just because I need a vintage shirt. I love Star Trek and the Fact Files so it ticks all of the boxes for me. Next t-shirt is this Top Dad t-shirt. I remember I wore this once. Literally once. Took a picture in this, it was a very clean fit, it banged. I just think it's a nice novelty t-shirt. I mean, I'm on the fence about this. I do want to keep it just because it's a nice clean top dad t-shirt. I mean, obviously I am not a father, but I feel if I was, this is going to be the first shirt I'm going to wear. For a novelty dad t-shirt, it's quite clean as well. And of course, it's like a large, extra large, so it's cozy boys. I don't know, I want to keep it, but I feel like I can't justify it. So. I'm just gonna put it up for sale. Like, I'm probably going to regret it, but it's mad. Next, we have this vintage champion sweatshirt. I remember buying this from the vintage clothing market in Shoreditch in 2017. It might even be late 2016, I don't even know. But like, I bought this because I was heavy into champion. If you frequent my videos, if you frequent season one, then you will know that champion was the brand that I used to bang on about, like literally every single video. What's your favorite brand? Champion, what would you wear every Every single day champion etc etc I used to wear this sweater quite a lot but not really much recently I mean it's a nice sweater to throw on when I'm just around the house and all of that but apart from that it doesn't really get much time outside so for that reason it's gonna go in the sell pile next we have this oversized 90s knitwear jumper it's from CNA got it from the ASOS marketplace this was during the time in 2017 when I was heavy into the grunge aesthetic and I still kind of am to be honest I do wear this quite regularly when I just want to throw something on without putting too much effort into it I just throw on this jumper it's big it's baggy it's gray it goes with pretty much anything I wear it with so for this particular reason I am going to actually save this jumper just because it still bangs targets and we all need a good knitwear jumper so Mad. Next we have the stripy jumper. It is actually vintage top man. It's insane. Again, I got this from a charity shop a while ago. Luckily, it was around the time that stripes were in for a while. So it says it's a size large, but it's definitely an extra large. When I wear it and not tuck it in, it looks like I'm wearing a dress. The time for this jumper has definitely passed. So this is going on the Depot page. I haven't seen a lot of like vintage top man, but this was a very interesting piece to pick up. It's just stripy around the back, stripy around the front. There's a lot of straps involved. So it's going on the Depart page, mad. Next, we have another stripy jumper, but this one's got a turtleneck to it. But I swear down, yeah, this one has the henchest collar I have ever seen. The henchest turtleneck of all time. You could wear this and people will mistake you for Shakespeare just because of them fat off Shakespeare collar, which is a shame because this is a super nice jumper. I mean, you could probably cut off the turtleneck, but you know, I don't really want to go down that route. So for all intents and purposes, it's unwearable now. I did try and wear it a couple of times, you know, I folded down the collar, but it kind of made me look like I was an astronaut, or it just looked weird. So for that particular reason, this has to go on the Depop page as well. If you think you can pull it off, or you want to do your own thing, then by all means, take it off me, because, you know, it's a nice jumper. It's just got a fat off collar on it. Next, we have this vintage shirt. I bought this shirt when I was doing that Chandler Joey challenge with Sanj. This actually banged. If you wanted to go for like the vintage smart look, then this is definitely the shirt to go for. When we actually did the challenge, I was surprised about how this shirt actually banged. However, I have not worn this since then. I may have worn it for like a couple of Instagram pictures, but nothing too serious. It's a really nice shirt, but I haven't worn it for ages and for that reason this has got to go on the deep heart page mad the next item i've got is this woodland camo t-shirt i bought this from a charity shop but they had their own little vintage section and this can't be that vintage it's got its own little barcode on it so the authenticity of the vintageness of this t-shirt is uh, in question but whatever it's fine it's a little bit faded which i quite like i feel it tones down this t-shirt quite a lot people often mistake this for the supreme plain woodland camo shirt but i assure you it's not if anything it's from shadow branch brand camo it's a nice casual t-shirt that i can wear with more or less anything so 
you know, it's got to stay around for a little while longer. Next t-shirt I have is this Michigan Academy font gray t-shirt. It's made by Russell Athletics, which is like a direct competitor to champion, if you didn't know. Quick history lesson there. I like it just because it bangs trends, it bangs targets. It's a clean shirt, it says Michigan. Don't really think too much into it, it's just, it's just there. It's super large as well, it's like an XL, so I do tuck this in whenever I do wear it. This is a nice casual t-shirt that I like to wear every now and then. This looks super nice tucked in as well. So for that reason, this one is gonna stay in my rotation as well. So the only actual smart thing you'll see in my wardrobe is this vintage acne button up shirt. It's the only white shirt that I own. I used to own a lot of white shirts, but I don't really go to a lot of formal events. So I kind of just whittled this down to one. It's a nice shirt, but in my personal opinion, it has to go just because I never wear the white shirt and when I do I feel like it's kind of uniform at this point to wear the white shirt at any formal event and I kind of want to switch up a bit I want to experiment with more smart clothes than that and I feel like I have to break down my own interpretation of the smart look and build it up again from the ground up so for that reason this is going on the Depop page so if you want a vintage acne piece this is your chance next we have this palace statue tee now i'm never getting rid of this shirt i know i saw a bunch of palace stuff back in 2017 but i just love it too much man just look at that design it bangs targets it's got a couple of marks on it which i'm absolutely gutted about but nothing that has cotton handle here it is in all of its glory i just love the graphic at the front that's pretty much the entirety of this shirt with a big palace spell out there. You've got the statue holding the peas. And just to tease everyone a little bit, Sick Mate merch is coming very, very soon. You'll understand why I said it as I'm holding this t-shirt. Say no more, I'm keeping this t-shirt. Next up, we have this vintage Next beige jumper. It says Next menswear there, mad. This one is massive as well. It's like an extra large, I believe. Again, this is something that I like to wear tucked in. It's nice, it's simple. I can dress it with light jeans, black jeans, trousers, whatever you want. It even looks good with tracks bottoms on like it's a pretty universal jumper not really much to say about it it's just there to bang the only problem i have with this jumper is the fact that it's baggy this particular color and this particular material kind of looks weird when i put a shirt under it if i want to dress it up it doesn't really do it for me it looks really odd when i try and layer it so i just wear it on its own and this is something i'm definitely keeping so and the last two items i have on the rail are these burberry shirts I have no idea whether these are real or not. I bought this one on Depop and I bought this one on eBay. Now I can tell that automatically has swayed your opinion to, oh no, they're both fake fam, come on. But I'm not too sure, you know. I could actually just take these to the store and ask them myself. But this shirt I've only ever worn a handful of times. This shirt I wear a little bit more just because it's a little bit more true to the whole Burberry aesthetic, if that makes sense, colorway wise. It's got that sandy color to it, but this one's a little bit more light. Comparatively, you can tell the difference here. I do want to keep these shirts, but I don't think I'll be wearing them as much as I think I am. I think I'll have to keep these shirts, but just take them out of rotation. Like I'll put them in a little box that I put all of the clothes that I don't want to wear, but don't want to get rid of. So these are going to be stuck in my little treasure chest for now. So that's not necessarily everything in my wardrobe. I do have plain white t-shirts and all of that, but I think I might refresh them just because they're getting a little bit tatty now. So just assume every white t-shirt that I own is probably gonna be like given to a charity shop or something like that to make way for the new. And that was cleaning out my closet, the clothing purge and the 10 other names I said at the start. I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. Trust me, 2019, I have good vibes about this year. Again, if you wanna support me in the channel, then you can subscribe to me. And if you wanna be notified when I upload new videos, then you can press the little bell as well. Leave a like if you like the video, leave a dislike if you dislike the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what items would you have saved, what items would you have got rid of. Let me know your plans to enter 2019. Are you gonna revamp the wardrobe? Are you gonna revamp the style? What have you been doing recently? Let me know if you are banging targets. And I read more or less every single YouTube comment, so please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. So thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're moving on to the jeans now. Pleated trousers. As soon as I can replace these, then I'll get rid of them. Fat off, wide, beige, vintage Tommy Hilfiger trousers. Magnus Ronin would be proud of these. These are vintage St. Michael jeans. These are not that bad. These are 550s. These just have to go. These are all basically the same jeans, just in different washes.